Hey guys, I'm JD Ross, and today we're going to run the crack version of Alan Wake 2 on the Steam Deck. For the first step, make sure to install the game on an SSD. The game requires this, but of course you can run this game on an SD card, but it might affect the performance. So if you can, install it on an SSD. Okay, let's talk about RAM requirement. This game requires uh, 16GB of RAM, and by default, the VRAM of the Steam Deck is set to 1GB. And some of that 1GB VRAM will take space from your RAM, which means the game will detect below 16GB of RAM. And if you do try to run the game with that, you will end up with this error. The game requires at least 16GB of physical memory to run. So how do we avoid that? You have two options. The first option is just change your VRAM from 1GB to 256MB. But what if you want to use say 1GB or 4GB of VRAM? In the description, there will be a download link for a file called alnwake2.exe. It's a modified version of the exe of the game made by this user, credits to him, for making an exe of the game that only looks for 8GB of RAM instead of 16GB. So basically, after installing the game, you just download the file from the description and then go to where you installed the game. I'm going to re uh, rename the official one to this and then we're going to drag this in there. So now, if I try to run the game, it will run even though my VRAM right now is set to 4GB. Okay, let's proceed. For our next step, we're going to download the Proton that we're going to use for this game. You're going to need ProtonUp QT. You can download this from the Discover Store. So, open up ProtonUp QT and then set it to Lutrish Flatpak. Click Add Version and then install the latest version of GE Proton. In this case, it's G Proton 8-22. Now, I believe I already have that installed. Yes. Now, you go click install, but I'm not going to click install because I already have it installed here. Okay. So, after installing that, open up Lutris. And now we're going to add the game to Lutris. As you see, I already have the game here, but we're going to ignore that. We're going to add the game in under a different name just for the sake of this video. So click here on the top and then add locally installed game. We're going to name this something else. Alan Wick. <laughs> okay. So for the runner, we're going to set this to wine. Okay. Executable. We're going to set this to the exe of the game. So find wherever you install the game and then select the exe. This one. Okay. For the one prefix, you're going to make a folder for the prefix of the game. It could be anywhere. Mine is on uh, under home, deck, prefixes, and then I just put them there. So we're going to make a new folder. I'm going to name it WIC. Just, just WIC. <laughs> okay. And then click OK. Go to runner. Set your wine version to uh, whatever Proton you installed earlier. And then click save. Make sure the game is selected, click here, and then Wine Tricks. This might take a while. There we go. So when this thing appears, minimize everything, okay? And then click OK, click here, click OK, and then find D3D Compiler 43, check it, and D3D Compiler 47, check it. Scroll down. Go find um, VC Run 2022. Check it. Click OK. Just click OK and just keep waiting here. Okay, so when it comes back like this, that means it's done. Just click Cancel and click Cancel and then go back to Lutris. Now, if you are on SteamOS Preview, which is at the moment is SteamOS 3.5.1, if you run this game, it will run and you can play. But if you are on, um, say, SteamOS Stable, it's not going to run until you install the beta version of Mesa Driver. I'm not exactly sure if Mesa Driver Beta is available on the beta version of uh, SteamOS. I've only tested uh, Stable Channel and Preview Channel. So uh, if you're on beta, just you're going to have to test it first before installing the Mesa Driver. In order to know if you actually need the Mesa Driver, run the game. And then after you click New Game, it will load the game, but then it will crash or just stay black. If that happens, you're going to have to install the Mesa Driver beta. Okay, let's install that Mesa Driver. 
we have this text file here and I'm going to put everything in this file on the description or on the, on the pin comment. Let's start with this one. Copy it. Go to terminal. And then paste it here. Press enter. There we go. Let's do it again here. And just press enter. And then do this again on this one. There we go. Okay, after installing the message driver, we're going to add the game to Steam. So just right click and then uh, create Steam shortcut. After that, you're gonna have to close Steam first. Exit. And then you have to open Steam again for the shortcut to appear. Okay, so now the shortcut is here. We're going to use a command in order to actually use the driver that we just installed. Again, if you are on SteamOS 3.5.1 or preview channel of the SteamOS, skip this part and just go enjoy the game since you already have it on Steam. But if you install the Mesa driver, you're gonna have to do this. This is the command that we need, okay? You have two ways of installing this. One is into Lutris and one is into Steam. Uh, you're gonna have to test which one works for you. So for Lutris, you're going to copy this, okay? Copy that. Go to Lutris, select the game, and uh, configure. Go to System Options, Add, click here, Paste, click Enter, and then go back to this, and then copy this as well. Where was it? Okay. Paste it here, click Enter. Okay, it should look like this, and then click save. And there we go, you can now play. But if that doesn't work for you, you're gonna have to remove that and do it inside Steam instead. We're going to remove this so I can show it to you what it would look like for Steam. So you just copy this, the whole thing, and go to Steam. Okay, properties. On the launch options, paste it here. So control V, okay, and then space. It should look like that. It should have a space between the percentage sign and the run. Just close this and then go run the game. So to test, we're going to uh, gaming mode and test the game. Okay, we are now in gaming mode. The game should be on non-steam, Alan Wick, and then play the game. When this appears, you just click this OK button with your finger. And by the way, my mod tested, uh, this dialog does not appear if you install the game on an external SSD, but it appears if you install the game on an internal SSD. Either way, it doesn't really matter. This only appears on the start of the game anyway, so when it appears, just click it with your finger and uh, you should be good to go. Okay, so I'm going to turn on nudity sensor because I'm going to show you a short glimpse into the gameplay but I don't want to show you something nude because, you know, YouTube. So, that. If you don't have the Mesa driver installed on a, on the stable channel of the SteamOS, after this loading screen, the game just crashes. But since we installed the Mesa driver, or if you are on SteamOS 3.5.1, it should continue after this loading screen. So let's click that. There we go. The game proceeds and we have no problem with uh, the crashing. I'm going to skip this cutscene. Ta-da! We have the game running. So, when it comes to the settings, I'm going to make a different video for that. So this video won't be too long. And uh, yeah, enjoy the game. And if you want more videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.